So here we have a problem that says a diprotic acid, H2A, has Ka1 of 3.4 times 10 to the negative 4 and Ka2 of 6.7 times 10 to the negative 9. The question is asking, what is the pH of a 0.31 molar solution of H2A? So remember starting off that the equation for pH is pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of the H plus ion, or H3O plus um, would be equivalent. So since we're looking for what the pH is, we're, that's only based upon the concentration of the H plus ion, let's start by writing our equations for dissociation. So if we have H2A, the dissociation for the first acidic hydrogen would be that it splits into H plus and HA minus because each time it acts as an acid it loses one hydrogen or one H plus. So that would be the equation representing the with the um that the Ka1 is the equilibrium constant. For the Ka2, that would be a second reaction that you take the what's left over after the first reaction happens, which would be the HA minus, and that would be in equilibrium with the acid. Uh, because it's an acid, it's going to give off another hydrogen, and all that's left would be the A that's left. So that would be represented by this Ka2. Notice, however, that the Ka2 is very small in comparison with Ka1. Because this is times 10 to the negative 4, this is times 10 to the negative 9. This one would be about um, like 10 to the 5 times smaller, which is about 10,000 times smaller. So really, we can ignore that Ka2 and the whole second reaction because basically all of the H plus that's going to affect the pH would come from the Ka1 equivalency reaction, uh, excuse me, equilibrium reaction. So let's first write our, um, our ice table. I'll grab, um, let me just grab this. Put it over here and let's write an ice table. So because the H2A is a molarity of 0 0.31, we can put that on the I line. We're assuming that none of it is dissociated yet at the, on the I line, so 0 and 0. And we're going to be, they're all balanced at a 1 to 1, so it be plus X, plus X, and minus X. So the E line is 0 0.31 minus X, X, and X. So now we can write our Ka equation as Ka, or Ka1 in this case, because we're talking about the first acidic hydrogen, would be equal to the concentration of H plus times the concentration of HA minus divided by the concentration of H2A. So now plugging in the number, which is the 3.4 times 10 to the negative 4, which is equal to the H plus concentration would be X, HA is also an X, and then H2A is 0. 3, 1, minus x. Okay, so now we need to solve this equation for x. Um, because this number is times 10 to the 4, excuse me, times 10 to the negative 4, we can say that the x is going to go to 0 on the bottom, the one that's being subtracted. So we can simplify the problem to 3.4 times 10 to the negative 4 is equal to x squared over 0 
Now solving for x, we multiply both sides by 0 0.31. So 3.4. So 3.4 times 10 to the negative 4 times 0 0.31 is 0 0.0001054 is equal to x squared. Square root both sides, and that makes 0 0.0102 or 103 is equal to x. So then the pH would be equal to the negative log of the x does represent our H plus concentration, so that would be the 0 0.0103. And simplifying, I'll take the log base 10 and change the sign. That would be 1.988, or if we round, makes about, about 2, but we can say 1.99 would be the pH. Okay, well I hope this video was helpful for you. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments and if you have any other problem that you'd like to see a step-by-step -step video such as this one, I'll leave that in the comments or send it to me at my email that's listed in the description below. Thanks for watching.